Christmas in harmony. Um, first of all, doing film, just being in front of the camera, does it just make you so happy to be able to take on projects like this? It does. This is my first, I think, Christmas movie. I think it's my first movie period, um, just as Michelle Williams, you know, and uh, I'm excited about the opportunity. I, I was like, okay, like, of course, you know, I've done videos and television shows and theater, right. but this was pretty cool to have a good meaty role um, in a movie. And it's something that families and folks, everybody loves Christmas. Everybody loves Hallmark. How yeah. about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Hallmark is the seal, the gold seal, literally. And you want to watch, literally, and you want to watch these films. What do you think really beyond it just being a Christmas film? And like you said, as Michelle Williams, this is your first, like you said, meaty role. Mm -hmm. It's a big one for you. What do you mm -hmm. want people to take from this? Why is it a must see? Mm -hmm. I think the message in it, Christmas in harmony. And it was good for me to support the young lady that is playing the lead role of Harmony because she didn't see herself as, so in the movie, am I giving it away? Okay, she didn't see herself as gifted, as more gifted. She, she was in a box because she was the type that was helping push other people's dreams, meaning me, um, helping me as I play the role of Melody Star and she works in a record label that's always pushing other people moving right. forward. And she discovers that she has a gift of her own. Well, her boyfriend, played by Luke James, helps her to discover, mm -hmm. yes, honey. Um, <laughs> I was like, he, he was supposed to be my boyfriend in this movie. <laughs> we love Luke. Yeah. And so it was, it, it, um, he helps her to discover, you know, her gifts. When you can put your gifts on the front out there like this too, in a film, you get to sing, you're, you're doing all of the things. Um, is it just a greater gift to be able to put that out there for everyone? Absolutely. Um, I love Broadway and I've done a lot of, I've done musicals. And so it allows me to showcase my singing and do some acting and dancing. And in this movie, it was, it reminded me of theater because there are portions where I sing. I even sing um, two original songs. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, honey. Yeah, honey. You go get, you, I don't know if they're going to play the whole song, but you get about 30 seconds of some, We're getting some of it. <laughs> you'll get, you'll get a, you'll get a little bit of it. And I thought that was so cool. It, it was fun. Uh, we filmed it in Wilmington, North Carolina. And um, it, it was it was really, really something. For you, Hallmark movies, obviously giving us joy, bringing us happiness, especially for Christmas time. Um, what is it about these movies for you specifically? Or do you remember one that really caught your attention where you said, Hallmark knows what they're doing? <laughs> you know what? I think of my mother because she'll be at home watching every single movie on that channel. She loves Christmas. I love Christmas too, but it also reminds me that winter is here. And I grew up in Illinois where it was cold. Right. So it's like, I want to celebrate Christmas watching the Hallmark movie someplace warm. <laughs> and so I, 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 just, I just think of all the people who are in the Christmas spirit. My mother, I'll, I'll never forget her tears just falling from her eyes as she was wrapping gifts. Now, I don't know if it's because of all the money she spent wrapping gifts, but she loves Christmas. I don't yeah. know what it does to her spiritually, but she loves it. And so I'm happy that for the millions, trillions of people around the world who can tune into the Hallmark Network and watch Christmas in Harmony. And I, I want to be a part of projects that lift your spirits, that bring hope and, 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 and make impact. Right. Um, and you talk about making impact. This is a great transition into the next woman that I want to ask you a question about. Uh, the two women, Gail and Oprah. Um, <laughs> they've made such an impact on everyone. Um, I love that you posted uh, a question for them. You had a question um, when they went glamping. Um, <laughs> what happened on that? And when, they, when you guys all united, what was that situation like? 
Well, I'll tell you this. The, okay. I, the glamping part of the question, I threw that in there. Because <laughs> cool. I know, I know two out of the four of us probably like oprah said Jay, or no actually it was gail she was like i ain't gonna wipe myself with no leaf and <laughs> you know and here i am thinking well me beyonce and kelly oh, the five of us i'm like we certainly can light a fire we certainly can make a fire now now yes. let's go now let's go with our protective hairstyles that's first and foremost first <laughs> so you don't have to worry about hair take some tinted moisturizer and some lip gloss some sweats, some sweaters, sweats, yes. boots. We don't need much. Some baked beans. We don't need much. So you can live off of that. You can glamp off of that, right? Well, it's not even- Glamp off of that. Now, now glamping. Now, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind doing the traditional like camping with a tent, but I'm gonna need some help nearby. <laughs> Like on standby. That you can... On standby. That's good with arches and guns. Now, <laughs> has this has this taken place? I haven't followed up with you on this. Oh, it, it, it has not taken place. Okay. So, so this I, was I'm... back in September. You asked about it. Now, will there be cameras and will this actually be happening? I hope so. I Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> um. Again, going back, and I know you talk about we're talking about impact of women. I just want to keep with that too. You, um, you ladies, Destiny's Child continue to be one of the most iconic girl groups of all time. And I'm just going to say groups of all time. Um, how do you guys keep that 20 years of friendship mm -hmm. so tight, even with all the things that go on? Because even having my sister live down the street, it's like, it's hard. We got to all keep mm -hmm. up with our family and our lives. Mm -hmm. But how do you guys keep that tight? I think that was a good thing about asking Oprah and Gail that question too. Now, the awesome thing about the, my friendship and relationship with Beyonce and Kelly, it's been what, 21, 22 years. And I think we've done a fairly good job of um, celebrating each other, honoring each other, and just being there for each other. So I think if we stay on that trajectory, yeah. um, we're going to have relationship for... 80 years. I can't wait till we're gray haired and <laughs> rubbing Ben Gay on our knees, trying to still drop it like it's hot. <laughs> you can never <laughs> stop dropping it like it's hot. You got to do that forever. We, we, we might need help getting up, but we're going to try. <laughs> we don't have the Meg the Stallion knees forever now. Okay. We, can't I don't know. we might have some metal caps in them knees, but we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> And, and again, just what you said, and I love it because it makes me happy. And it's, you also have to put forward the effort and you've called them your safe space or your safe place. Um, and I think that's kind of what you build family on, right? Absolutely. Building family um, and safe spaces and trusting, you know, there are times when, you know, um, I wasn't always open because it's like, well, you know, I've been, I've been vocal about, you know, depression and all that stuff. And as I wrote in my book, they were just, they were saddened that I didn't come to them sooner. And it's not because I didn't think I could. It was just because I was like, they're married, children, and I, I don't want to be the one that's bringing doom and gloom. But it was right. just, and it, the unfortunate thing about that, it, it was just for a season. It was yeah. temporary. And so just know and trust everybody out that's watching us, just know and trust that your friends and your sisters, your brothers, they can handle those temporary moments. Yeah. And if they can't, they're not for you, but they've proven. And it's not that I needed them to prove. It's just that the consistency right. of relationship. And I'm so blessed because I didn't have that growing up. I didn't trust women until I met Beyonce and Kelly. And I'll say my two college roommates, were the first four women um, that I could trust. And you just felt comfortable at those moments when you was, were building with them, right, initially? Oh, my God. We had so much fun. It don't look like that, but we bonded over food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you have a good metabolism if you bond I'm, I'm going to blame it on the metabolism. My mother said, my mother, she told me one day, she said, girl, just wait till you have kids. That metabolism is going to slow. I said, you're such a hater, mom. <laughs> 
<laughs> mommy, mommy has a lot to say. They have to, right? They always have to. I hate her. She's a hater. This is for the fans. They believe you all, you ladies, are working mm -hmm. on a secret project together. They're piecing uh, it. They do on the internet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Do you think it would be amazing, hypothetically, let's just say hypothetically speaking, if it would happen, would it be amazing to do that again? Or would you, do you think you've done what you've done and let the work speak for itself, what you've already had? We've made such great impact that 15 years later, since a commercial project has been released, people are still saying our name. Uh -huh. um, I, I don't know um, what the future hold now we are together more often than not so we have our own reunions of sorts um right. so you know of course when you have so much fun together whether it's just personally and professionally of course you you're going to want to do both because you have so much fun you know and so if that ever came up and like i said if i can still drop it you know <laughs> then i I'm, let's go <laughs> How's the dropping it right now? We're getting it. I mean, I mean, you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> um, I was going to say last thing, obviously, again, the, the relationship that you have with the girls is amazing. The ladies that you have is amazing. What about the youngins? I can't believe, none of us can believe, Blue is already 10 years old um, and made her cameo in the new ads for Tiffany's. <laughs> She's all over the place. Mama mm -hmm. Tina Knowles is always posting about her. Can you believe it when you see that? Just how, how big Blue has gotten and just blossoming. And um, I think, you know, she's going to be a force. She, we've heard her sing. We've heard her do everything. Yeah, she's, she's going to uh, be a force. In whatever path um, she and her siblings, wh whatever path they take, yeah. they have no choice. They have no choice. They're going to be great. They're going to be great. Yeah, they have great examples. In As well, I mean, you know, and Kelly's children. Oh, my gosh. Oh Noah my God. is so <laughs> yummy. Yeah. Titan. I just, the other day, I was like, his legs could even fit in the frame on FaceTime. He's so tall and, and so big. I'm like, oh, my Lord. They're so yummy. It's like my candy corn in the background there. Don't judge me. <laughs> Oh, you're a candy corn person. Look. Oh, wow. You have the whole... <laughs> okay. You're ready for Halloween too. So you so are... I don't have children, but I've got candy corn that's yummy. Since your mom is very open about uh, the holidays and everything, Christmas and Harmony, was that the first person you tell? Um, yes, yes. And um, the this Christmas is a little different because we lost my father December 20th of 2020. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, so, you know, I thought about that. I, I thought about that, but to continue to create new memories so that we're not, we're going to miss his presence. I literally had a weeping moment today. I was like, I miss my dad. When I think of the fall, I think of him because his birthday is November 13th. And so I was just driving down these streets in Atlanta, these tree-lined streets, like, Aww, I miss my pops, yeah. you know, and because my mother loved Christmas so much, you know, and what she and my dad were able to do for us as a family during Christmas, she's going, she's, she's going to feel that. And we're going to feel that too. Yeah. Do you have anything um, special planned for her for that? Or do you guys just want to be together? I you think? know what? I actually, I want to go away for Christmas. You know, when we talk about build new memories, because it, it can be easy to be home sitting around a tree and maybe being sad. Right. It's like, listen, this is just me trying to get her someplace warm. Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea, creating new memories. Um, because yeah. Yeah. Well, it's and so many people grieve um through the holidays or around Father's Day or Mother's Day. So right. there was a young lady in Soul Cycle one year and um she was really missing her sister. And I was like, well, let's create some new memories because around that time of year, our body almost, it's like we, re we remember what that grief felt like and we hold on to it. And I said, what's her favorite color? She said purple. I said, well, let's go across this way here and get a purple smoothie. You know, yeah. wear a purple shirt. And to this day, she'll hit me in my DMs with her purple smoothie. Just that little act of going- Just that little act. 
yeah. just that little act. It changes things. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's and I'm not telling anybody not to have tears, but, but for some of us, it can keep us in the bed. It can really depress you. Uh, that loss can thinking of the loss can really, you know, keep a person, keep a person down. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good way to do those things. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Those help. Those little things help. Yes, um, and I want to talk the book now. Aww. Let's talk. Do you, you have it? Yes, yeah. I do. It's called Checking In, um, How Getting Real About Depression Saved My Life and Can Save Yours. It's just a memoir from um, us tracing back symptoms of depression all the way back to the seventh grade. Wow. And it followed me into my adulthood. I didn't get a depress. I, I didn't get, I did not get the diagnosis of depression until I was in my thirties. So it was, yeah. Yeah. So, and how many of us you cope not knowing what it was, you might have an idea, but in the seventh grade, I didn't have depression in my word bank. It wasn't a part of my vocabulary. I just thought maybe I'm going through growing pains or puberty. Right. Right. <laughs> but no, it was in fact a, depression especially if no one talks about it. That's something that I've always wanted to know too first. You know, again, you might think this is just how I am too. Some people just go on life and say, this yeah, is yeah. What do. do you have any, I mean, obviously talk to your doctor, you know, do the, sure. do, do the work, do your research, but what would you say? Um, your book kind of shares your story, obviously. Yeah. Would you have any kind of uh, advice to anyone if they don't know, or they're kind of questioning things? Thank you for asking, Sibley. I'm thankful for the tools and resources um, to not respond to things with just severe sadness and isolation. Those are, that's, and that's depression. And so the three uh, pillars of my book, Checking In, check in with yourself, check in with others, check in with God. And that's me respecting all beliefs and cultures and religions and I, I liken it to a tripod, you know, if one of these legs is not, a, is not stable, I can't put my iPad on and my laptop or my iPhone, you know, you can't put pressure on it. You can't put weight on it, you know? And so those pillars help you to, to hold, those pillars help you to stand. Today at this very moment, what time is it? It's Wednesday, October 20th, 2.23 p.m. Yes. On the West Coast over here. Yes. Um, Michelle Williams, how do you feel at this very moment? Who would you say you are in, in this very moment? I feel so good. Um, Yvonne Orgy um, is, um, I know she is a guest on my podcast. And she said, who I am now is not this woman I was in 2020. And I feel like we should give ourselves permission to welcome growth yep welcome growth walk into the light of your of growth and who you are and so i can echo that same sentiment i'm so thankful for growth and healing and wholeness because i am not the same woman that i was in 2020 and i think we had a lot of time in 2020 to get it together <laughs> yes we had more than enough time it's, yeah. you know, we still got time now and I think what you're touching on too is it's nice mm -hmm. to know that there is room for growth all the time absolutely friend absolutely